There are some records that just seem unbeatable. A combined amount of luck and skill are needed for a 2x2 two two single world record, and that intersection almost happened. This is a story of Zane Kanani's 0.5 second North American record and the weight it carries. In order for someone to get a legitimate 2x2 two two scramble, the cube has to be at least 4 moves from a solved state. That means in order to get a sub 1 second 2x2 two two solve, a competitor has to pick up the cube, execute 4 moves, and put it down all within a second. Let's take the example of Rami Spahi's 0.58 second world record from 2015. He picks up the cube and executes 4 moves, R, U2, R2, F, and puts down the cube. This all occurs within the time frame of 0.58 seconds. That solve was very impressive. But even more crazy is the current world record. Mishiz Chapiuski, a year later, had a 4 move solution. And he executed it perfectly. The time was 0.49 seconds. The first official sub half a second solve in all of CQ. In the 6 plus years since that solve, Samir Agarwal got close with a 0.51 making it a North American record for the time. And Luke Garrett recently tied Samir's NAR with a 0.51 himself. But for many, May Shiz's 0.49 second solve seemed like it would stand forever. Until just now, it looked like it was having its rendezvous with destiny. Zane Kanani came 0.006 seconds off from finally tying this world record. The most impressive part about Zane's 0.5 second North American record was that it was a 5 mover. It's just a matter of time and patience until he gets a 4 mover in competition. And he would get his chance at a sub 0.49 second single. Every year, the 0.49 keeps getting more mortal. And with Zane coming within 0.006 seconds, the longest standing world record might soon not be standing any longer.